So let's go ahead and schedule this guy right here. So to do that, you're going to go to your view and it's um, and under schedules, instead of schedules and quantities, you want a material takeoff. If you do schedules and quantities, it will schedule the floor, the whole floor, but we want to schedule the individual materials. So we're going to do a material takeoff and we are going to pick floors for that and click OK. And it has general, um, these are actually floor parameters, but if you scroll down, there are materials. So I want material area. I want a material, let's go ahead and take the comments over there in case we need to use those. I'll take the material mark, which is what we uh, created for that material. And then um, the material name, okay? And click OK and it starts to read this guy out. Now before we start here, let's go ahead and take a look at, um, if I go to my Manage tab and I go to my Materials and I take a look at that wood desaturated. If I go to the Identity, you're going to see the mark is WD01 and the description is wood. So you could actually fill it out here when you're doing the materials and it would read in there. It's a bi-directionally connected. So each one of those materials that I updated um, and you can also change it here, okay? Um, so for material comments, um, here's the rest of the floor, the floor white and the floor gray and a few of the other ones. I want to kind of um, take these guys out and not see the rest of those. So for the material comments, I'm just going to put an X in this guy and it'll fill out all the other ones with an X right um, and then I'll just do an earth I'll do X and brick sidewalk I'll do X and I'm just doing this to um, to kind of get rid of these guys to be able to filter them out so I'll go to filter now and I'll just go to filter by material comments does not equal X and click OK so now I've got these guys right and let's reorient them should have done that in the beginning, but let's put the name up at the top. And let's put the mark after the name. And click OK. So now we've got that. Let's go ahead and pull this out a little bit so we can see it. And then um, what if we wanted to split it between um, tile and um, wood? So in the material comments, I could come in here and put tile, right? And I could put tile here, and I could put tile here, and then here I could put wood. And I'm just using this to organize them. So then I can sort and group by material comment, and then I could do it by mark after that. And um, we'll put um, a footer at the bottom of this and a header. And let's go ahead and do totals only here. Um, and we'll, I guess we could do grand totals as well. Totals only. And click OK. And now it's going to split those guys between the tile and the wood. And I'll go ahead and go to formatting and tell it to calculate the area. So now we're getting the areas of those, the individual areas and the total area of the tile and then the total square footage. You can come in and, and of course hide this column. Um, and so now we've got our sort of schedule coming through here, right? And you can sort of rearrange these however you want to, obviously. and um, the next thing we want to do is create a legend um, that you can read um, and place next to the um, finish plan.